Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Uh, for some a uh, breaking news, uh, we I mean we put it out not particularly long ago um, that Malcolm Marks is set to be out of the World Cup. It has been confirmed um, that Malcolm Marks has been officially been ruled out of the World Cup with a knee injury. Um, so we wait and find out exactly what the seriousness is, but the, the short term story is that he will not be taking any further part in the World Cup, and it's, it's a huge blow at the end of the day. It's 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 difficult to quantify just how important Malcolm Marks is and just how big of a blow that is to the squad. But what for me is the most interesting about about this entire thing is how the Springboks are planning on coping without him and, and what the update has actually been, which is Springboks doing what no other team would do and being very alternative, to be perfectly honest. Um, so it's a very interesting release that they've sent out and a very interesting update and it opens the door for a lot of um, players potentially coming back. So... Yeah, this is where the conspiracy theories are right, and uh, the box have, have not ruled out anything just yet. Uh, so before we go into exactly what's been said and what the situation is, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. So Jacques Nino has confirmed that he is out uh, of the tournament, and he said that first and foremost, we are extremely disappointed for Malcolm, and we wish him all the best in his recovery. He's been working very hard to be in the best possible form uh, for a tournament, and it's tragic that his campaign has ended. As a team, we remain in contact with him as we do with all our injured players, such as the Kanye um, Andre and Lua Diaga, and support him as much as we can through the recovery process. This is where it then gets interesting. He's, he says that we have enough cover at hooky with Bongi and Dion in the squad. Well, wait for it, and I don't think anyone called this one. Marco van Staden has also been training there and has been named on all our team sheets so far as a hooker option. Very, very interesting. This is why it's so interesting. We will assess our needs for the rest of the tournament and confirm who we are calling up as an additional player later this week. So that pretty much means and lends itself towards us not replacing Malcolm Marks with a direct replacement in a hooker, but actually going somewhere else. And all of a sudden, as everybody was expecting and 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 was and was 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 talking about, an Andre Pollard, for example, could suddenly make his way back into the squad. Um so it's, it's, it's very interesting. And yeah, the conspiracy is always there saying that someone was going to get injured and Andre Pollard was going to come back into the squad. Um, an injury was always like, was not always likely, but it was always a possibility. Um, you know, the fact that it's Malcolm Marks, I think it goes to show that it was definitely not a conspiracy and that there was a chosen player. I mean, people are going as far as to sit there and say there's a certain player that they know is going to get injured and have to drop out. That's not the case. And, and I think, you know, people that were sort of ratting those kind of rumors need to have a serious look in the mirror. But um, this is how we are potentially going to adapt. We've lost Malcolm Marks, but they're very happy with Bongi Benami, apparently. They, they reckon that Dion Free can do a job. And the fact that they've now trained up Marco Van Staden is, is also a very interesting situation. Because we saw last year um, Dion Free on the bench as, as hooker cover in inverted commas. But he didn't even come on at hooker. Uh, and I think, it was, I think it was Malcolm Marks who was playing. Played a full 80 minutes and um, they put Dion Free on the flank. So you could do exactly the same thing here. You could have a, a Malcolm of a start and listed as hooker in inverted commas, but only actually replace uh, the starting hooker if there's an injury. But apart from that, come on in the flank. And this is what the box has been doing a lot in the last couple of years, is that they've not they've not gone with the bench. It has to be this. You know, they've, they, there are certain rules about a bench, which are include the fact that you have to have a, a replacement front row, and you have to have two specialist props, and, and, and a hooker that can play in, in that needs to be listed that can play in the front row. So you've got specialist front rowers, that is the only rules in inverted commas you have about the bench at the moment. And so nothing prevents you from, you know, put it, you're not having an out-and-out hooker um, who then actually has to replace the hooker. Nothing nothing says that, you know, your actual, you know, your props can technically play the full 80. There's nothing against them, but you have to have um, trained players who can play in the front row on the bench. That is the only requirement. So you could technically have a front row on the bench and then five, five backline players if you wanted to. Uh, there's no rules against it. So this is what they've been doing, you know, they've been, with the 7-1 split, with now looking at different players, that they're looking to sort of, well, not say it's exploit a loophole, but they're, they're sitting there saying, well, just because this is how it's always been done and traditionally been done, we don't actually have to do it that way. So it's a, it is a bit of innovation. Again, it's one of those things where if it works, everyone's going to say, how amazing is that? How cool is that? And if it doesn't, everybody will sit there and say, well, this is why it's not like that. But at the end of the day, if you don't try, you don't know. So no player has been called up just yet. Uh, there will be a player that is going to be called up. That will be next week. So basically, um, Jacques Nyalba said that we'll assess our needs for the rest of the tournament and confirm who are calling up as an additional player later this week. So uh, that sounds like we might have a confirmation tomorrow. 
um, or Saturday. Otherwise, we'll probably find some get somebody on Sunday. And I think that Andre Pollard could very well be that player that does get called up. Um, so yeah, that's it's a very interesting situation, and and as usual, not straightforward when it comes to Supreme Moss because there never is. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. Is this a smart thing to go and say Malcolm and Sardin can fill in that hooker if we need to, and we, therefore we can bring in a an Andre Pollard, or we can look at bringing in an additional, I don't know, flank, or we could look at um, bringing in another center, you know, if a Lacanya Am was fit, for example, or, or, you know. So what do we think, and, and who should come up? Let me know in the comments below. Smash the like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Um, thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.